Hello guys, welcome to another Sunscreen Sunday where I review a different sunscreen every single Sunday. So last week we talked about the Eucerin Age Defense SPF 50. We're gonna see how the oil control works and how it compares to the Age Defense. It looks like the filters are the same. It's a chemical sunscreen. Avabenzone 3%, Homosalate 10%, Octusalate 5%, and Octocolin 10%. But I didn't notice any burning or stinging around my eyes with the other one. I have not used this one yet. This is my first time using the oil, oil control. It is fragrance free. This claims to have oil absorbing minerals that are clinically proven to be efficacious, suitable for use on oily and acne prone skin. And I do have slightly oily acne prone skins. Does not run and sting into eyes, non comedogenic, doesn't clog pores, oil free, hypoallergenic, which that's a marketing term. No octinoxate and oxybenzone, so it's technically reef safe, but I still wonder about like the octocellate not tocrolin. I don't know for sure. I need to do more research on that. It's SPF 50, broad spectrum. Let's see how it wears. I love the packaging of these. I love the pump. It is 2.5 fluid ounces, and I actually got this one for under $10 because Target had a 10% off sale through the Target Circle app, and then a $3 off user and coupon. So originally it would have been like, 14 and something with tax, but I got it for under 10 so I couldn't pass it up I'm gonna do one full pump. It gives you a really good amount with this one pump Here's the consistency of it Might be a slight bit thicker than the age defense I'm gonna do one side of my face first So with these sunscreens, I'm noticing it with this one as well, they start off really easy to blend, but then as they start to blend in, you really have to rub and it gets like thick feeling. And I really didn't like that at first. Like it stays kind of sticky, if that makes sense. Do my eyelids and we'll see if this one stings my eyes any throughout the day. Okay. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Eucerin oil control on and nothing on my face. Nothing. Eucerin oil control. I feel like it's really shiny to be an oil control. Like I imagine it from the age defense because Normally, as you age, your skin's not quite as oily, and the Edge Defense one feels slightly heavy, and this one kind of feels the same way. Might not feel quite as heavy, and it may be drying down a little more than the Edge Defense, but you would just expect the oil control to like not be as thick, I guess. I don't feel any stinging, burning, irritation. I guess oil control doesn't automatically mean matte. Oh, okay. So this side is drying down. It feels quite a bit different than this side I freshly put on. And I think the cast you can see is going down a little bit. This one, it's not powdery by any means, but I don't know how else to explain it other than the texture feels like it could be powdery compared to this very creamy, sticky side. I really don't know how to explain that. It's not staying as sticky or heavy. It has a slight stick to it, but not as bad as the Age Defense. I feel like the shininess is drying down quite a bit because this is at fresh and this is after like a few minutes. I'm gonna come back in about five minutes and we're gonna see how much it's dried down. So this is right at first. So this is after about 10 minutes actually. It did dry down quite a bit. I don't think it's super, super shiny. I could wear this one by itself. It's not peeling or balling up at all. It still feels a slight bit tacky on my face. I don't know if you can, but not quite as much as the age defense. But the shine did dry down some. There's no cast to this because it's a chemical sunscreen. So far, it's really nice. It's not stinging my eyes or anything. I'm wondering if this is gonna make my face feel tight at all throughout the day or like when I reapply. As of right now, I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm gonna like this or not, but that's how I kinda was with the age defense. But this is the 10 minute afterward check-in. 
I'm not going to put any tinted sunscreen or anything over top of this. I just want to see how this performs on its own today. So I'll check back in with you guys when it is time for a reapplication. So I was out and about today and don't yell at me, but I did forget to reapply my sunscreen. I feel like I have a tiny bit of redness on my cheeks too because of it. Anyway, I wanted to show you what this looks like at the end of the day. Keep in mind, I didn't reapply, but it's looked like this for hours and hours now. The shininess did dry down. My face is not tight and dry like I was kind of scared it would be and it didn't stay super shiny and it's not sticky at all. It didn't stay sticky. Um, I wouldn't say powdery, but I can see how it would be oil controlling and I feel like it is. My forehead's not oily. My nose and cheeks isn't oily. If anything gets oily, it's not much, but normally by the end of the day, I'm just ready to wash my face. But like right now, it feels fine and it's probably because I don't have like five layers on. I mean, it's not my like absolute favorite. It's not like I am dying to reach for it, but nothing is bad about it. I do like this one. I'm gonna keep trying it out and I'll keep you guys updated. Give you guys an up close look. I do have these few little bumps. I don't know if they were there before or like gonna come up anyway. I don't know. Nothing really over here. And my eyes didn't sting at all today and I put this on my eyes and eyelids so it's fine with that for me. I feel like it doesn't make my skin look better at all but it doesn't make it look worse. This is my first time using this one so I want to keep using it and see if my thoughts change because a lot of the times that does happen with first impressions for me. Stay tuned for more Sunscreen Sunday videos. Subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I'm like but I'm ready to go to sleep. It's like 11:30 at night. I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Good night or goodbye. You're probably watching this in the daytime. I don't know. I'll talk to you soon.